To escape a landscape touched by the hand of man, a place where it's still possible to take a front row seat on the grandest natural stage ever created, one has only to travel to Africa, a land where the natural order is on display as it has been for millennia. That's especially the case in the southern African nation of Zimbabwe. For South African native Doug McNeil, a chance to stalk the planet's grandest beast was an opportunity to step into the food chain in a way few rarely ever experience. We're really looking for, for elephant uh, management bulls. The numbers are getting to an extent where they're going to have to start uh, you know, controlling the elephant's numbers as such. And this is one way to do it, and it produces a lot of revenue for the conservancy to maintain you know, the good work that's been done here. Taking McNeil on the remarkable journey was Zane van der Merwe, a young but experienced professional hunter who is no stranger to the perils of dangerous game. Let's go and have a closer look at him, eh? Yeah. We go around and have a good look at him. Yeah, the wind's perfect as well. Yeah. yeah. Anytime you're hunting a dangerous animal, anything can go wrong. And, they, and they, they're predictable up to a point. Great when they come up like that. Yeah. yeah. A lot bigger when we're on their level. Oh yeah. Than when like this morning when we're on the bank. Bank, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. And I mean they they just come to have a look, aren't they? Yeah, I they mean, just, that's just curiosity just really. Hundred percent curiosity. Wanna know what's there, pick the movement up. The wind was good. So yeah. they just heard noise and picked up a bit yeah. of movement or something. Because their eyesight's not good at all. No, it's not. But I I think it's actually better than a lot of people give them credit exactly, for it. Yeah. yeah. You know, no, they'll pick up movement, especially diagonal movement, that's what yeah. I mean. Got to move slow. Of all the planet's dangerous beasts, none possess the raw killing power of the African elephant. Standing 16 feet tall and weighing as much as a greyhound bus, a provoked bull elephant can move with astonishing speed, up to 30 miles per hour. As surprising as it may seem, the grey coloration of an elephant allows it to blend surprisingly well with its surroundings, especially in the thorn thickets where they often retreat when pursued. But it's not just the bulls that pose a risk to hunters. Surprise a cow with a calf in tight quarters and you can virtually guarantee a charge. Elephants also possess acute hearing and a well-developed sense of smell. Combine that with intelligence and you may well have the world's most dangerous game animal. Parts of Africa where elephants have been heavily poached often hold extremely aggressive elephants. Such was the case in this stretch of Zimbabwe where some elephants come from Mozambique's Gonarizo National Park, a place where AK-47 toting ivory poachers have tormented the elephants for years. Surviving elephants then have become, well, rather cheeky. Should a hunter fail to stop a full-on charge, an elephant will knock its victim to the ground, pinning him under its devastating weight. Once it's trapped its victim, elephants have been known to savage their victims beyond recognition. That is, it is sometimes difficult to even determine if the victim was human. That's an older boy. He's heard us now. Yeah, he's an older bull. You can yeah. see the size of him there. Yeah. Which like he must have got a little bit of a whiff of us. I was saying it's about time for that rusty ale. Yeah, I reckon, eh? I think we deserve it today. Yeah, it's been a long walk and it's nice to see what's at the end of the trail. Yeah, at least we saw what we, were f what we wanted to see. Yeah. Let's go and get a cold one. Well, sounds good. For the good. drive home. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll come check you first thing in the morning with the trip yeah, and take it from there. Have the hunters will return to continue haunting the ball until the game of chess reaches a conclusion. 
be it at the elephant's or the hunter's choosing. Returning to the old bull's tracks at daybreak, it is several hours before the hunters catch up to it again. On his way, it's a nice looking bull. It's a nice old, old bull, yeah. He's an old bull, yeah. It's definitely a nice old bull. Yeah, he's definitely got a bit of age on him as well. Yeah. I think it's just what we. I think that's what we're looking for. What we're looking for. Should we go? Great, yeah. Should we go smoke it? Yeah, let's go and do it. Within sight of the bull and its heavy ivory, the hunters must approach quickly and quietly if they hope to get a shot. A sudden change in the wind or an inopportune snap of a twig, and the bull will evaporate with astonishing quickness. It's a roll of the dice as to whether the bull will disappear back into the heavy thorns from where he came, or whether he'll turn and charge in an instant. And he didn't give us any time to think at all. He just turned and came. Damn. I mean, I think he heard us coming through. Yeah. And he just almost decided to Decided, come. boy. Oh, well we done. Knew it, eh? Well done. Thanks Good so shooting. much. Eh? Whoa. Well, we got up on him and he just turned around and just came straight at us. You know, he picked up that movement. And, uh, you know, we, we didn't expect it at all. Eh? So, a bit of excitement there. Huh. 